Hello there, I'm back. So um, uh, today I have to finish the collision on the KMP for the uh, Riverside custom track. Um, I made a live, uh, I think, uh, four or five days ago, but it wasn't very interesting, so I didn't look it to YouTube. Uh, instead, I'm going to make a summary of what I did. So here is the uh, collision model in SketchUp. Um, the only thing I, I did was to fix the geometry a bit because uh, you don't need so many detail for the collision. Uh, it only makes the collision file bigger or makes the game lag. So it's not uh, very important to have a little leaf collision. In, in this case, I didn't want to change these parts because, uh, you know, SketchUp sometimes messes up, uh, so I don't I don't want to change anything there. But in other parts, I think I think the the actual grass here it was more detailed in the model and I changed it. Uh, and yeah, also I made. Uh, uh, where are there? Where are th and there. I made um, those arrows. Uh, the collision have uh, two sides because in the collision file only the front side of the model is saved. And also, you want to disable in a SketchUp. You want to if you are going to use SketchUp for modeling. Uh, you want to disable both uh, exporting the back faces because it will uh, make the the round intouchable. So you will will just uh, fall when you spawn. And I think this. Okay, I forgot to fix this. Uh, anyway, so it doesn't matter. In any case, I also made the um, top part of the blocks have a different texture. So. I can sing them ground and you can ride on them if you find a way to get up there. And I think I changed a little bit the bridge to have a better geometry. Oh and this this is the fall barrier for the for the ramp so you can get outside here and you can also you can't also uh, make there is a circuit, if you use those flowers uh, as a ramp, you can get on top of this block. So you could actually uh, make a circuit here by skipping this part. With this wall, now it's a fault boundary, so you can go past that point. What else? I think I uh, I didn't change anything else to to be that important to uh, for me so important to mention. But well, yeah, here is a I changed the floor texture to a wall texture, so you you can ride on this part because it has the same texture as the road. And I think that's it. So after that, I exported the um, the model. I think it's it's here and I use uh, every file explorer can open this file new from file Mario Kart plugin Mario Kart 7 collision and from there you can just uh, where is it here yeah here uh, you can just Select the opt, opt the opt file. Uh, wait, I think I show you options. There, you have to disab uh, disable this because it comes enabled by default, and it will cause the the problem with too high faces. Now that you have the objects exported, you can open it, and you have this table where you can put the collision types for its different material. 
I made a screenshot of what I did, so here are the types, you can calculate the types using the KCL calculator. You can choose uh, different types, for example road, which is made of wood, and you can uh, make a trick when you write it. So this is the KCL ID, which you, you can put uh, here. Same for uh, glitter pads or where is it? Fall boundary. You have lava, water, and all of that. So once you close this window, the KCL is generated, and you can file, file, save as, and collision. That way. Uh, you will get the collision file and we uh, have it here. So now that I have the collision, I have to finish the KMP. So I open KMP Spander. Open. I can actually... Hold on. Okay, that's faster. And I'm going to load the collision model so you can see it. Okay, there it is. So in the first part, I made the um, I improved the checkpoints, but at that point I didn't consider. Okay, wait a moment. Uh, what one? I don't know why it's displaying black. Maybe because it doesn't have any texture. I think so. Okay, never mind. Uh, I didn't consider um, that I, I would make this blocks right there well so I want to change the checkpoints a bit but I can barely see them anyway so we're fine also I don't want to over okay, I, I'm going to disable everything but the respawn points and the checkpoints I want to change this checkpoint here to be outside of the of the auto bounds uh, wall and same as here that way you can you can go through this checkpoint and maybe close a book so that's so easy also I can move this over there and I can move this over here so you can ride these wall blocks, but not, uh, but not there. So because you remember the going outside of the checkpoints makes uh, carries a respawn. So it's something you can do to prevent instead of using a full boundary as I did here. You can just use the just use the checkpoints. Um, wait, I don't want to allow this, so I'm going to. Okay, that's better because it, that way you could do a um, shortcut this way. So now. I'm checking what the what else I can change the checkpoints. Everything else should be fine. Oh okay. I have to to change this part because now the the uh, circuit that is there will will cause you to respawn because it's out of bounds, so I have to move all the checkpoints 
this way they will be giant but shouldn't matter I mean since I'm moving them this way you will see what I mean Okay, so be fine. I think I'm going to move this one a little bit there, and that's better. And this one here, this one here. Okay, that's better. That way you can take the circuit without being respawned. I'm going to change this a bit. All right. Now I, I there there was a problem with this respawn point because it was in the default boundary, so I have to move it like this, and that should fix it. And I think that's all for respawn points because I made everything in the first part and also I made it on my own so that's what I have to make for checkpoints now I'm going to I'm going to make the, I'm going to make the glider route there's only one but I think yeah okay the glider is fine but I'm going to change the size so you see in glider routes item routes and enemy routes you have several groups which is a um, a single path that you can take in this case sorry one moment <clears throat> in this case you can go outside when when opening the glider you can go outside but you will be pushed down immediately so you can really go outside those circles um, so this uh, a good way to control how do you want the the players and the uh, CPU racers to go when they are gliding, and I think the this 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 could be smaller. Five, four, three. Okay, a little more. Three point five. Okay, that's right. So this is the starting point. When you touch a uh, glitter part, it will search for all the glitter roots. And if, if it finds there you are inside one of these points, you will take that route. So I'm going to uh, put this circle here, and that should be the starting point. Also, this uh, circle is a sphere, or um, I'm not sure if it is a sphere or a cylinder. But that shouldn't matter. Now we can change every other point to be smaller because I don't want the the glider to go to the sides. Three point five three. Actually, I'm going to move this here. I'm going to move this here, so you can glide past the finish line. I'm going to set the height to the floor, and now I'm going to open the calculator. So I have. And I have four. Wait. Yeah, I have four. So I have to make intervals of 30, uh, 13 units. So 99 plus 13 
Bom, cá andaram muito elas. Plus 13. 125 plus 13 138 um. Okay, more or less. So it's the way uh, descending uh, path. And also I want to take the exposition and make the same for all of them. Now the glider route is finished. So now I want to check the enemy routes. Okay, there was a there was a change in Kim Pispander when I added there were these circles were added to the program that uh, way you can see what is what is the scale so uh, when a cpu starts it will search for the closest route it can follow which are the ropes, uh, groups here and it will start uh, going uh, from point zero to one two or so on and also in, in, in each point it will choose a random position uh, inside this circle that's how you make the CPU follow the track route um, you also have to check that the recent any points in off-road in this case there are so I'm going to change it to to this size the same move it a little bit also note that in in turns um, the CPU can go from there to there so if in this case uh, this point isn't in grass and this point isn't but there is a path here that there is rush, so you have to avoid that. I can move this point here. Okay, like that. I'm going to copy the scale because I think the track uh, width is the same for the full track. So I don't have to type it is it's time. Uh, I don't need this one. Okay. This one is right. If I remember correctly, there was a... What is this? A point then it doesn't matter. I'm going to make the CPU avoid the piranha plants. So, here I can make it go closer to the side of the grass but in the next turn here I'm going to move it away I think I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller Remove this one. We'll make this one larger. 
but not not that large I'm going to reduce it a little bit and that's it so that way the CPU won't take this route and get the plant eat them this one isn't needed Right. Hmm. Here the the truck is smaller, so I'm going to reduce the size, and it should be well, totally that's better. Uh. I love the P seven. Yay. And hi. This turn, I make this one smaller. More legs like that. And this one, I don't need it. That's enough. <clears throat> Can remove this one. This is another pinner plant. No, it isn't. I think the next one is there. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, 1.8 Hmm one point seven. Okay, I can make it a little bit bigger. Um, the bigger you make, the size is. As long as you, as the it doesn't get out of bounds, the better because that way the CPU uh, will be able to cover a, a greater, yeah, a bigger area. So it's nice to to have that instead of having the CPU all follow a single line. If you said, for example, the scale to Zero, zero, 001 so small that all the CPUs will follow just the line connecting the points do you collab a lane uh, do you collab again with Rosalina the hacker I didn't collab with her I think I don't remember the last time the last time we did something I don't remember right now. It was something some related, but it was several years ago. Sorry, my memories aren't great. That's right there.
Mm, I think uh, he asked me to do the Waluigi voice, but when, but at that point I didn't even know if it was possible to add Waluigi to the game. So I told him not to worry about it uh, at that time. But later I took a look at the at the sound files and I managed to do the sounds. So, uh, yeah, I ended up doing that part myself, in any case. I'm trying to remember uh, what we, what he helped me, uh, in what he helped me. Uh, I'm going to replay that question in a, in English so everybody can understand me. Basically, if I'm doing uh, the modding for, uh, for uh, uh, how many years have you doing this? So I don't remember. I think it was in uh, 2015 that I discovered. No, okay, uh, it was in 2012 more or less where I when I discovered uh, CTGP revolution for the Wii and since I discovered it I I thought what what about uh, okay hold on a moment I can move this I don't need this one I may need this one so when I uh, knew uh, custom tracks were possible at that point, I remember joining not dshack.org because it was closed, but it was Mario Kart DS Central, and I started doing Mario Kart DS mods, and I made a mod pack called Mario Kart DS Custom Item Models, which replaced the uh, some item models, for example, the uh, the cells and the banana were three D models instead of two uh, D texture, and also I made some other modifications. And overall, I learned how modding worked in, on the DS. I think I also made uh, yeah, I replaced all the uh, battle tracks on the. <clears throat> On the DS game, and there MK Gear I never knew, I never know how she pronounce it, but MK Gear SM. Uh, he, uh, she started uh, doing Mario Kart 7 mods, and because she was in the Mario Kart DS community, uh, she reopened DS hack and. Also, which uh, the committee started making uh, Mario Kart 7 tracks. I think that was in 2014 uh, when uh, she first he made uh, she made the the first the ever Mario Kart 7 hack, and then custom tracks started several months later. I think. November or December, the second half of 2014. It was the first time a custom track was made, and I remember it lacked a lot of things, such as item, items and CPU routes. But then KMP Spander started developing, same as every file explorer, it started getting better with. Uh, uh, Mario Kart 7 files, and I think the first video I made on my own, on my old channel uh, about CTP was when Ninjax uh, came out, so in 2015. So yes, this mods has three years now. The first release of CTP 7 was made uh, by Dark Flare. And uh, uh, he uh, collected all the custom tracks that were made at the moment. I think there was 
5 or something like that. And one texture hack which was Cal Calimaria Sea Desert. And made the first CTP7 release. Um, then he told me that uh, if I wanted to continue the pack because I had more knowledge on how the game work internally. So that's when I started releasing the next version of the mod. But yeah, the original creator of the mod was Darkflare. I think the the mod started out as a starting start uh, it started as a CIA file, so a whole file a whole CIA uh, version of the game. But then with the introduction of ninjacks and hands, it was made into a Rom FS only mode. But then La Layer of Fest was developed by Cell9 and Anti-Air Custom Firmware. So the Layer of version was made. Okay, I'm checking this. And uh, Custom Firmware became popular because we only had a small Custom Firmware and only uh, all their frameworks were compatible because at that point uh, boot 9 strap didn't exist so uh, the layer or the NTR method uh, was the less we the the less common method so uh, Hans was the most common method but then custom figure was developed uh, Luma was born yeah. Oh well, NTR custom figure became the main option to run the game until now. Mm. Okay, now I have a problem here. Can I? Yes, I can. I'm going to remove all the points until point zero, so I can show I can show you how to make uh, the CPU take a shortcut. So I want to remove this one, and I'm going to create a new group, another group. And this second part of the first group. So if you check here, the group C, uh, group zero. You have next and previous. These are the um, when the CPU uh, goes to the last point, it will take uh, it will choose a random option from the next list. In this case, I, since it's only one path, it will go from the last point it will choose again root zero so it will go to the first point again but if you want to the cpu to follow multiple paths you can configure it like this so i'm going to create points for all those routes because if i remember correctly there was a, a bug in the program in the program and because an exception so I'm going to make it like this same as this one and same as this one okay so now I can go to group zero and I want to the CPU to choose either the circuit or the main path so for that I have to go to the next and I'm going to tell the next route is uh, routes will be one 
one and two. As you can see, now they are connected. And now, uh, group one will go to group three, same as group two. So now they are also connected to this one. But you also have to remember that you also have the previous value, which is from which uh, groups uh, can a CPU uh, come. In this case, it can come from group 3 backwards. It, uh, you have to consider it as you, as if you were following the track back, uh, backwards. So the previous is 3. Okay, I think I messed up this one. Okay, I forgot to change it to 0. So now this point will go to the start of the group 0. Okay, so I'm going to close next, open previous. Group 0 can, can come from group 3. Group 1 can only uh, come from group 0. Same as group 2. And group 3 can come from either 1 or 2. So, 1 or 2. That's how you can make um, multiple paths. Now, I'll, uh, when I finish all the routes, I'll configure uh, this one. So, it's only taken if the CPUs have a mushroom, which is the logical action to do in this case. So now I want to make this point here and I'm going to finish this path. I think there was a drawing option. Yes, there is. If I want to make new points, I can select them. Okay, that's right. Can move this one here. Please, okay. I I can make this window with this window smaller. to be okay that's better now this one here Maybe it a little bit smaller.
like that Okay. And this is the next boot and um, so I finish this part. here. I can move this one here. Okay. So now I have the shortcut root and the normal root. I can continue drawing these points. Now I can finish the enemy path. I don't need so many points here. Okay, like that. So even though it looks like uh, the CPU can take this turn close to the side, uh, uh, in the game smooths the path, so it totally looks something like that. It it, it isn't linear. The how the circles are made. 
but uh, the circles gives you an idea of how it will end up looking like uh, but at the end you will have to debug the track so letting the CPU stick uh, make laps and check if they fall off the track or they go into the grass and after you make sure that's checked and it is then when you can make sure the path is perfect Let me need this one. I don't need this one. Okay, this this part of the track is uh, is smaller, so I can can make it <coughs> that point there. This one here, and that should make it. like that okay not that big <clears throat> I can see the drop here, but more or less there. At the same set coordinate. Uh, not this one.
here <clears throat> this one here and now uh, this last mm, these three points I can just copy the one from the glitter roots it send the chain the size okay that should be enough oh actually I I can't make it mm. I think this should be a problem, but because at that point that man these things here are walls so I can make the point so big. Yeah, that's enough. And now we have to fix the Y position because it's not 100 exactly. It is... Okay, it's 100, but in any case, I'm going to copy it. This one has a different height, so I'm going to right click. Okay, now I can continue. Now this route, the x, the y position should be the same, but in the case. Yeah, more or less. Uh, I forgot to mention something. Uh, the game will crash if any of the uh, enemy points or item points are outside of the checkpoints. In this case, you can see all the enemy points are inside the checkpoint, so there is no problem. But if this, will, if this place is here, then the game will crash. It's a common, a common crash um, uh, people will get when they are developing custom tracks. Also. It's a problem if you forget to to set the size. It w the game will probably also crash. So the position is kept at zero.
Okay, here I'm going to right click because the ramp starts more or less where the point is. I think it didn't start yet. What? Okay, I forgot to. Okay, it's like that there, but here I have to right click. And the last three points, I have to take the height from the glider. Hey there, William Smoke. Now that's it, and I'm going to get the values. So I think I'm going to get them from another track. Uh, where? Okay. I'm going to get them from. I think it was. Where is it? Dice Cruiser from uh, Space Road because it also has a. Uh, uh, enemy path with special attributes for the CPU to do and take them with mushroom. I'll extract it, it's better. So this is the okay. Mm. All right, this is the uh, circuit path, and it has to end with one, I think. Uh, the unknown one has properties for the NA points. For example, if you choose the, if the CPU can start a drift there, or if it uh, should not be allowed to drift there, or if it uh, should maintain the drift. But in any case, if you leave the value as zero, the game uh, will guess. By uh, will take a guess, and many times that's better than predefining what actions will take. But uh, in order to the CPU to only take the circuit uh, route, uh, if only it has a speed items such as the mushroom or the golden mushroom, uh, you have to put this value. in the first point so here also this one should matter and I think this value is to maintain using the while it's uh, it is a road, but I'm not sure. In any case, uh, that value is the important one with a one at the end. And for all the other points, there is no need to change this value. So that is the part. Oh, I have to change the item routes now. Also, I forgot to check the Piranha plants. So is this one there?
I will move this point a little bit there. Oh, also I'm going to make those fountains smaller because it looks a little bit weird. Also, the, there was a bug because the actual fountain has a collision and if it is uh, there is ground mm, below the fountain, it would act as water. So you you will go through that uh, that floor. I remember there was a fountain I think here and it was making all this area water so you will you were falling and it took me a whole day to figure out uh, to figure out what was the problem so i'm going to keep those fountains but i'm going to make them smaller what is this okay the skybox um this is the skybox i prefer to have it on the middle Mm, yeah, that's that's better. No. Okay, fair plant. Okay, now I'm going to make the item roots. So for the item root, mm, there was a... ah yeah um it you go outside but uh, there was a uh, circuit there, I removed it because it was too too good for a checkpoint because if you have a mushroom you can skip this part and I think that part is uh, it's too big to make a, a circuit for it there are so many groups why? Oh, okay, I see why. <clears throat> but in any case, mm, it's not connected properly. Mm, I had to remove all the groups. So the item roots, uh, uh, are the roots that uh, the blue shell and red shell and bullet bill will follow. It's not the same as the enemy roots. Now there's only one, and I'm going to draw it. What? Okay. Now. Um. Yeah. Okay. Now here. I can make a new one and another one. So this one will come from nowhere, like it was here. Okay, I have to. Zero. I'm going to connect it like that for now. that and 
here. Sammy, I know you are banned from DS hack, and there is a reason for it. Okay, that's enough. What's this point? I can remove this one. Now I'm going to connect the whoops. As you can see, uh, there can only be five, uh, five different paths for item paths. Uh, for item root, sorry. Uh, I think enemy has 16 different possibilities. Yes, 16. But you will never use more than two or three, so it's not that important. Okay, so from zero, the next one is... Uh, okay. This is one, so zero, the next one is two. And it comes from... Group zero comes from two. Group one uh, doesn't come from any place, but the yeah okay doesn't come from any place, but it goes to two because that way um. Uh, only if you get closer to this point, then it will follow this route. Otherwise, it, it won't. It won't uh, randomly choose this one. Also, uh, this one comes. It uh, goes to zero and comes from one. No, from zero and from one so if you go this way it will only go to two which is this one right okay now so it comes from zero it will only go to two and also it this one will only go to so now backwards, this one will go to 1 and 0, so, what, okay, sorry, this one, 2, will go to uh, 1 and 0, 0 will go to 2, 2, and 1 will go to nowhere. So minus one. Okay, that's right. <clears throat> now I have to uh, check the size. Mm, that shouldn't matter the size that must because it's not that really used. It's not used at matching item roots. The root cells will follow a line. I don't need that many points here. Let 
like that and that point is right okay and I don't know why this one suddenly is one oh because this is uh, this is the part that I created I will change the size of all of them to make it easier This one here. That one can be removed. That one there. I'll explain later why I decided to put uh, the point just at the border. Here, can remove that one because there are so many of them I can I have to make this one smaller with this one <clears throat> now I'm going to check this part that's right but now that there I don't think I should make this one bigger because then okay, I will move this one here that way this root is will make this point smaller so you have to be inside this point in order to to get uh, the bulk bill to follow this route otherwise it will change the route to go that way so it has to be inside this area and I'm not sure yeah something like that well actually if you're taking this circuit 
maybe this is better okay like that and that should be it for that I'm going to do the same as before here Now I continue. Okay, I made those points too close together, but um, okay, that one, that that's the part where the I have to change the size. And that's better there. I'll show this one. This one has the same set position and the same size. That here, <clears throat> that one at the limit, and I don't need this one. Mm. Do I? Okay. Yes, I do. to remove this and that's it so that's the now I have to change the height I not okay now Okay. 
okay, I, that's not right. I have to right, right click. I'm going to zoom because right clicking also selects the point, so. Now for this group, and the last part. Like that. Okay, so now it's finished. And now I'm going to explain why I decided to put the points right next to the border of the ramps. That's because uh, every time there is a, a flame part, the red cells and blue cell will uh, have collision, so it will fall to the ground. It will check the ground and have the same collision as if it was a card. However, if you set this value to 1 uh, to the parts that are in midair, in that case the cells will follow that path but uh, flying. So that's fine as a flying route because uh, that one is zero but uh, from that point and until that point, it's a flying part. I'm going to set this as a flying part too because uh, there are small there are small gaps in the ground and the cells may fall down there. So I'm going to change it to one, and that's also a flying part. Same as, obviously, the gliding section here. That one not, but the next one, yes. Okay, so that's all for the item routes. Now, since I have only 15 minutes left, I'm going to save this. I'm going to load it on the 3DS and see how it ended, ended up looking like. Now I can replace this with the new KMP. And I can now transfer it to my 3DS. I'm going to switch to the 3DS view and try to, to connect the 3DS because from past tries uh, it took me several reboots until it worked. Mario Kart, 
I'm going to go here. That should be done. Okay, I forgot to open MTR custom firmware. I'm rebooting now. Let's see if, if it works. Oh, it works. It worked for first try. Alright, so I'm going to test the track now. What I want to test is I'm going to finish the custom track and let the CPU uh, complete uh, two or three laps to see if it works properly. So next step will be uh, changing uh, the piano plants and several other things. Then also I'm going to improve the bottom screen minimap. So the gliding section works as suspected. Maybe I have to make the second point a little, a little bit higher so it doesn't look like you are going uh, directly down. And the checkpoint, the socket here works. You see, with these wheels, in, I think it's better to take the circuit instead of the normal boot uh, even without mushrooms so, and I don't like the idea but anyway also the the uh, 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 fall boundary also works Well, the good part about that circuit is, is and since it's, it is the same color as the water, it's uh, it's difficult to recognize it. Now I'll see you what I mean. Uh, you can use the flower because the, that part of the the bottom part of the flower is actually ground, and you can use it something like that to get on top of the blocks. You don't even need a mushroom. I'll try it several times. 
to test if the whole boundary works there. Please. Uh, I think that one that side is easier. I already tested this several times, so I know I know it works, but it's hard to do. Uh, like that, and the fall boundary on the area side works. First. I don't want to test that. I want to test the area next to the gliding section. Also, you can get outside of the track by jumping over the uh, uh, these blocks on the other side. But since you can drive, since you can beat respawn, I didn't bother making it out of bounds. So if you want to explore the track out of bounds, you can do it. But that area when I intend to jump, since it's a close area, you will get stuck. So you're not allowed to to go there. Okay, I made it. No, don't get a stuck? No. Now if I try to make a shortcut by jumping to the other part, I should get respawned. Yep, I didn't get respawned, so that part works. Also, it should be the same if I do this. Mm, yes, it's the same. I guess this, uh, it's the same um, for the other direction. Yes. Um, I didn't put a barrier here because I'll, uh, one part there are the checkpoints and also uh, you fall, you just fall to the water. So this part here is you can ride on it. However, I think you can't jump there, or you can. No, you can't because you can't because there's a whole boundary there. So I'm going to finish, and then the CPU. What happened? Uh, my connection died. Okay, it's back. There is a bug in Wario's Gold Mine, I know. That track uh, will probably get replaced. So I'm not going to bother fixing it. Okay, so I'm going to... I don't know why my frames are dropping. Sorry for that. Maybe there is another device on my, ha uh, home, uh, on my home right now, using internet. Okay, I, please don't drop the frames. I'm going to finish and see what the CPU does. Sorry for the frame drops. I don't know why that happens. Okay, the CPU didn't take the circuit, so that's right. Yeah, you you see uh, so that that the. The cart uh, made a drift to the other direction, but um, maybe in grab breaks it won't do that. It can be fixed by forcing those parts 
and not to be disabled by putting some values in the uno one field. But apart from that, so I'll write it down on my notes that I have to fix the gliding section and also I have to fix the uh, how the cards drift on the last part. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. And here is the notes I took the last time. I have I still have to do this. This is already done. I'll just remove the line. That should be fixed as well. That's also fixed. Then I removed the rock, so I can remove this. Re CPU roots uh, are, may are done, so, but I have to check drifting values. The plants are. The plena plants are. I think I'll check, change the size. I, shall, I also have to check the oil. And I have to fix the minimap. Also, I have to fix the gliding section. And that's all I have to do for the next part of this live stream well not this live stream because i have to go now so the next day uh, i will focus in these four parts maybe the minimap if i have it uh, finished um the intro camera and replay camera will be the last thing so well that's all for today. I'll reload this video to YouTube because it had very interesting stuff. So well, bye.